Yes, it is a glorious morning here in San Andres. And today is Saturday. We had a beautiful sail yesterday. Everything went flawless, no problems whatsoever. So today, we are gonna do it all over again. <laughs> Cause we can. <laughs> Cheers. Uh, just having a morning coffee to start the day. Crew's out back, anything sorted and ready. But we had such a great time yesterday. I hope you guys enjoyed that ride. And today, it's gonna be a little bit more, yeah, I hesitate to say extreme, but stronger weather. I wanted to go yesterday as our first startup, just to, you know, have a nice casual relaxing cruise, test of systems without bouncing anything too hard. But today, we're gonna go bounce some shit. <laughs> so, we got about 17 to 20 knots of wind today. The wind's gonna pick up a little bit more than yesterday, of course, maybe 50%. And that'll bring the waves up by about the same. So, whereas yesterday we had one, one and a half meter waves, today we'll probably have two, two and a half. So, that's Sebastian just going to pick up. Uh, well, Melby's already here, but we invited Melby and Luca to come along with us today. So, they're going to leave their boat there at anchor and come with us. And we're going to go for a cruise and try and circumnavigate San Andres. So basically we'll tackle all wind angles, all sea conditions, upwind, downwind, beam reach, everything in one day. Kind of bounce the boat around a little bit and see what shakes loose. So that's our objective today. So we will get back at that in a few minutes. Right now I'm going to finish this and then we will see you as we set sail. Salute. You see you wanna see and I look at what's right in front of me I see all the beauty that's all around my head held tight and my feet on the ground I just wanna stay up all night until See what shakes loose. <laughs> hey, it's caramanting, son. <laughs> oh, something always breaks. We'll just wait and see what it is. Okay, so as I said, finished coffee and underway. Engine is running, warming up, so that's good. And you never guess, we had, you remember I said that our gauges were dead, but our depth sounder somehow has turned back on. <laughs> I couldn't turn it on for the life of me, 
after the lightning strike, it just would not turn on. And it's not all working. Obviously, there's some damage there, but it did just turn on yesterday. As soon as I tried to push power, it, boom, there it was. So at least, you know, if nothing else, you can see we do have a depth sounder, which is good. Still, the chart plotter is not working good at all. It just kind of does what it wants to, but luckily I can control it from here on the iPad. So, all is not lost there, but yeah, it's a lot more difficult to control from here, especially because the touch screen still doesn't work even here. But, we've got workarounds. At least we got Wi-Fi in there so we can hook it up to here and it gives us something to work with. But we are ready to go, so let's go check on Sebastian. He is supposed to be just bringing in the snubber for the anchor. All okay? Yes, it's, the, the chain is all to the road at this moment. Okay, snubber's in, good. Snubber's in. And ready to bring up anchor. Okay. You say, Captain. Oh, get the, you got the chain yeah, the, over top of the roller, though. Okay. Yeah, there you go. Okay. Start? Yeah, you can start bringing up slack. That's good. Whoa, whoa. Uh, give me a second. Yeah, just don't bring the weight of the boat up on the windlass, that's all. Okay, I'll let you keep bringing up and I'll go back to the engine. We'll give Sebastian a little pull from the engine. Take up some of the slack. You can see there's our prop wash. And now we wait for his signal. And up she comes. Nice. Okay. It's huge. <laughs> <laughs> it's a monster move. anchor. Now I understand. <laughs> <laughs> now I understand. <laughs> now he understands why we were the only ones yeah, didn't drag yeah. in the hurricane. <laughs> That's my cue to get back in gear. We are underway on day two. SL trial test. Perfect. Depth sounder, 13 feet under the keel. Looks like Luca's unpacking our mainsail. That's good. Unpacking, good. Okay, so we'll go around just behind Luca's boat and we'll hoist, hoist the mainsail there. We'll pull back upwind before we get in the channel, okay? Okay, whoa, whoa, that's good. Okay, we're good. Good morning, Kiki. Okay, mind the boom. We might dive as we come around here. 12 feet, good to go. Okay, ready to shut it down. I think we are good on engine. Ready? Neutral. Okay. I'm gonna hit reverse and then you pull the lever. Ready? Okay. And go. Perfect. Reliever down, switch off. Perfecto. 
cool. That's better. We are sailing now. Our favorite part when you switch off the engine. It's amazing. But that last little part, putting in reverse and then stalling the engine, that was for the, the folding propeller. So, because if we just leave it in gear, it'll keep freewheeling and forward. But you just kick it into reverse, that stops it, stop the engine, and then it just closes down. So that was that. That was what that was for, because that just decreases our drag then, so we're not dragging along a spinning propeller, which slows us down. So, not that our bottom's that clean, it's not perfect, so we're not going to go that fast anyway, but hey, one less thing slowing you down is always a good thing. <laughs> okay, so we're almost running dead downwind, so we're going to jibe the boom over on the other side, come off 10 degrees to head towards the southern tip of the island, and then we'll just run wing on wing. But to do that, we're going to put a jibe preventer on the boom once we get it on port side. So if you're ready, Luca, I'm going to start heading to yeah. starboard and you just tighten it in to limit the jibe as much as possible as it comes around. Jibing! Stay down. Ready? It's going to come. Oh, it'll come once the wind gets behind yeah, it. Yeah. Just give it a minute. Be ready. It's going to come anytime now. Okay, it's getting light. Here it comes. There you go. Okay, now you can start letting it out a little bit again. And okay, that's good, that's good. We want to do most of it with this. Okay, if you want, you can go tie that black line yep. snugly to the yep. cleat on deck there, and that'll prevent any jibes happening. How are we doing ladies? Oh, nice we, sail. we relax, yes. <laughs> Before then, the sea growing more, we relax. Horrible day, right? Yeah. <laughs> a lot of work. Good day for a test sail. Yeah, a lot of job, a lot of work today. And we're running wing on wing, beautiful. Yeah. Very nice. And we're moving along nicely, about five and a half, six knots. What are you doing, Skipper? Oh, you don't know, you're on the phone. Uh, no, I just try to search in some video for uh, show Luca something. Alright. Course is good. Heading down the east coast, just off in the deep water. Around the point, go up the west side. Good. 200 degrees. Perfect green to go to Cartagena. Yeah. <laughs> Yesterday the perfect was under 20 and the, and the course is under 10, under 20. So, yeah. three, three days, less than three days you are there. 
would have been a nice sail. Except today's nice also, a little bit more wind, but tomorrow's supposed to be kind of crappy, but now it kind of loosened up again. I didn't check the forecast this morning, but it should be good. Yeah, the idea now is we're gonna run wing on wing, as you see, downwind until we get that point of the island, the southern tip of the island, kind of on our beam over here. Once it's over here, we'll jive the jib over to the starboard, so starboard tack on port side and just start sailing around the southern tip of the island and get up around the west side. For now, perfect sailing, downwind. <laughs> And as you can see, we just about have the southern tip of the island, a beam. So we are making good time, good progress, having a great sail so far. You can see it here on the GPS. We are just coming around the southern tip, almost a beam. So that means it's time to jibe our jib, put it over on starboard tack, and we'll start heading over that way and have the wind basically on a broad reach on the starboard side. So. Should be a very nice sail as we head around the southern tip and then up the west side. Who wants to help with jiving the jib? I need somebody releasing on the starboard winch and somebody sheeting in on the port side winch. No, no, not the mainsail. The jib. The Genoa. Yeah, just the Genoa. So we need somebody to pull in the sheet on the port side winch. Order and release here. As Sebastian releases on the starboard winch. Put some extra wraps on it though. One, one more. No, one more. One more. No. Yeah, there you go. Okay. And she'll start collapsing. Sebastian, you just start. Don't let it out too much yet, Sebastian, until the wind puts it on the other side. Okay, now Sebastian, there you go. Perfect. Okay, you can let yours go completely now, Sebastian. And it's on port side, so it's all yours, Luca. Start heading for the point. Look okay? Yep. Yep, that looks good, nice and trim. Beautiful. Broad reaching downwind. More serious clothes. 
southern tip of San Andres. Fishing boats out today must be a good fishing spot down here. Yeah. All the locals down here. Yeah, we have rounded the southern point of the island. This is the southern tip right here. And we're just starting to head up the west side, taking the wind on the starboard quarter, and we're heading upwind. <laughs> Some shit's starting to bounce. <laughs> yeah. And we got some wind. There we go. Everything is flying. Beautiful day. Beautiful. Amazing day for sailing. Cinnamon covered pineapple. Yeah, that's yeah. What's this? Is it a crunch? Avocado with tomato and seeds. Yeah, perfect timing since we go hard on the wind. Yeah, yeah but that's a, don't, don't go to change. I think so more later. Yeah. Cheers. 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 Capitan? Si. Sí. Okay, you need to wait a little bit. Which one? <laughs> oh, tomato. Yeah, tomato and avocado. Gracias. Mmm. Wow, it's very Mmm. Things definitely could be worse. Mmm, <laughs> delicioso. Definitely having a near perfect sail. Just what I was hoping for. This side's yeah, a little more aggressive than we thought it might be, but that's good. That's what we wanted, a shakedown cruise, literally. Give the boat a little shake and see what rattles. 
Yeah, I had to slow down a little bit because there's a very short radius period or short period of wave on this side. <clears throat> and we were getting up, you know, straight up wind with the wind at about 40 to 45 degrees off the bow. And we're averaging six and a half to seven knots, but we'd start getting a little bit faster than seven knots and we'd plow straight into those waves. And of course that was causing a little bit of havoc with the anchors, so. Headed off a little bit, slowed down a little bit, and now it's good. But you can see here on the chart, we just did our tack. So we're headed back towards the island now. Actually, maybe you can see it better down here. In San Andres, that was our tack heading out to sea. And now we've just tacked over onto port side tack. You can see the purple line, that is our heading. So we're at a good angle on the wind, still about 45 yeah. degrees on the wind off our bow. But our track is the green line, so that's our course over ground in relation to our heading over ground. So you can see that it's a little bit less than maybe, well, a little bit over 100 degrees because we're taking wind waves and current all coming around the top of this island. And that's pushing us back this way, even though we're pointed that way. So that's why we're getting this green line here. Yeah, overall, it has been a very good sail, though. The lady's performing well, crew's doing well. We got a little bit of water down below. We forgot to close one hatch, but it's all cleaned up now so we should be good there and we're just heading back to shore like towards the island and I want to see how much difference there is in the waves and wind over there compared to out here so right now we're about four or five miles offshore approximately maybe a little less maybe three miles I don't know whatever but we're enjoying a good sail and we're gonna keep going up the coast we'll tack again once we get in close to land here and then we'll go out around the reef and then circle back around the other side of San Andres. So that's our plan for the day. We're already halfway around. It's only 11 o'clock right now. So what? We left at 8.30. So 9, 10. So two and a half hours. We're halfway around. So I imagine we could probably be back and, you know, sipping margaritas by Haynes Key. <laughs> probably by early afternoon if we want to. So we'll see what the day brings. So far, all is good. Just enjoying the sail, as you can see. The crew looks so stressed. <laughs> the crew looks so stressed, everybody's relaxed. Hard life. Enjoying the sail. And it is a nice sail. Okay guys, last tack. We got Johnny Key off our starboard quarter now. So we should be able to tack, clear the north shore, sail right past Johnny Key, and then down the east coast again. Nice. And right back down to where Heinz Key is, Rose Key. So, I'm all ready if you guys are set. Yeah, I'm ready. Slack, tied in. But one more wrap, Sebastian. Okay, good. Oh, don't let it go yet. Yeah, no, 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 guys. Okay, you ready? Ready. All right, tacking, coming about. Watching the waves, okay, we're right in the back of the last big wave, so we're clear. Okay, let her out, smash in, rip that sucker in. Pull, 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 pull. Oh. Ah. <laughs> okay, clean her and start winding. We'll get our speed back up. Green line, see, we got to make sure the green line is not going to cross the reef. So far, we're looking good. Nice. So that's the north shore of 
San Andres. We tacked out even further than we needed to, but I wanted to make sure we had a comfortable radius coming around here, so we got to keep our course over ground line, the green line, well above the reef. So we'll get above the reef and then we'll come down around the side of Johnny Key and start heading south. All right, last tack. Johnny Key right behind you. Yeah, we're on target, perfect. Oh, we're missing somebody. Oh, there he is. Sorry. <laughs> hey, you better hold on. You know what they call a man who falls overboard out here, right? Lost at sea. <laughs> Rev. Hold on tight, man. Yeah, as we doing, we flying. Yeah. Nice feeding here. Yeah, we're just slightly off the wind, but doing over seven knots now. Yeah, 7.4, 7.5. What are you moving?
side so it's ready. Good. Okay, that's good. Hold. Wait, wait. <laughs> that's a big damn anchor.
Then you can put the band on. There you go. Okay. And then you just send it over. Okay, put it in reverse, sir. Anchor is set, now we just need to dig it in. Okay, we're in reverse, Maddie. Dig it with your tools. Okay, one more hit on the engine. Reverse, throttle, and Watch when that hits. Okay, we're going back for one more tension. There it is. Boom. I saw you. Good. Don't give. <laughs> yep. We're secure. Yep. Yep, time to settle in. Chill. Glass of wine. It was a great day on the water again. Hope you guys enjoyed. Thanks for coming along. And we'll see you next time. Don't know what next one's gonna bring, but I'm sure it's gonna be interesting. Capitano Amozzo. Captain Du Mozzo. Swab the deck, mate. <laughs> now! Why are you standing around? <laughs> what do you did for comeback mate? Eh? You forgot to take out the trash. This is with the ham, salami, red pepper, and this is veggie with zucchini, red pepper, salad. Typical. One person working, four standing around watching. It's like a government team. After the selling, everybody has a lot of things. No idea what you're talking about. No? Oh, oh. <laughs> Thank you, ladies. Mm. You're welcome. You're welcome. You're welcome. Mm. 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 <laughs> Luigi. <laughs> Luigi, yeah. <laughs> no, it's mine. That is mine. Okay. Ah. This is with chicken. This is with the ham and salami and pepperoni. This is veggie. I don't think they care. They're just going to figure that out as they eat them. Yeah. Please, everybody. <laughs>